All right, guys. So I know I'm a little late on this trend, but I committed to it and I actually have seen results. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about oils, oils for your skincare. Okay, so first off, I have to give the Lord credit um, because I actually did not buy these oils to use for my face. I bought these oils to use in a little concoction. Um, and so I prayed about my skincare. I know it sounds vain, but yes, I prayed about my skincare and the Lord answered me and he said, use your oils. You already have this. Don't go buy more stuff. And I listened. <laughs> so I know that sounds, I know that may sound what it sounds like to some people, but to me, I have to give him credit because he answered. All right, so first off, I was gonna go buy another cleanser to um, cleanse my face and to remove makeup. And of course, I want it to be all natural. And usually when that, uh, when you're looking at all natural things, they like to bump up that price tag. Um, so I'm telling you right now, please, if you can, do not go out and buy an oil-based makeup remover. Just go if you don't already have coconut oil. If you have this at home, break it out and use it. Just seriously use it if it's not expired already because these things do expire. Um, so the ones that I got are all of this um, Now Solutions brand. And don't worry about the color of the bottle. It doesn't have to look like this. Um, these bottles, uh, say that they are UV protected, so you don't have to get a, a, special bottle, but I will say before you dive in to just buying, buying an oil here and there off of, uh, eBay or, um, Amazon or whatnot, or the grocery store, make sure that you do your research on the oil itself and know what to look for when you are looking at all of the labels and junk. So um, there are some specifications. I wish I could tell you those, but I just literally just bought these. I bought them just because I was making a concoction. That's that's what I, I just got them for, I wasn't gonna use them for my skin. Um, so I just got them, just blindly just got them, so. Um, you can buy this brand or you can buy another brand. But anyway, I just want you guys to know that there's more than just an oil, just buying an oil. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I use the liquid coconut oil to remove my makeup and then I use a, um, I use a, a mild soap to take off any kind of residue left by the oil. And that's it. That's my that's my skin washing routine. That's it. So, and then since I've been using the oils, it's just been I don't I don't even know what to say. It's just my skin has just loved it. It's just loved it. And I don't have to worry about like taking off mascara and hurting my eyelashes or even it being, you know, inladen with chemicals. It doesn't have any chemicals in it. It's natural. It's just what I wanted. It's perfect. And I love it. And yeah. So if you are thinking about going and buying a $38 makeup remover that's oil-based, this, this is all you need literally all you need. Um, if you have skin issues and you know that coconut oil breaks you out, I would say use your sweet almond oil plus your uh, coconut oil, two parts to one part. So you're going to have more of this and a little bit of this together. It's a great combination and it doesn't irritate my eyes. It's it's so good. So, so good. 
follow up with your regular cleanser. Boom, done. All right, so how do I use my sweet almond oil? This guy has so many benefits to it. I cannot even tell you how many benefits it has. Um, basically, it's made my skin tone brighter and lighter. Um, what else can I say? Hydration. Um, dark marks. Dark circles. Just fading away the more I use it. It's like better than any serum out there that says for dark marks or hyperpigmentation. This sweet almond oil. Fantastic. I only use two drops. Uh, you can use one drop, but I use two drops um, morning and night. So, of course, this morning, this is my moisturizer. Um, I'm still using up my mix soon. And then once that's done, I'll probably just use my oil. Um, I don't know as far as like anti-aging benefits that any of this has. Um, if it helps with wrinkles or sagging or plumpness or anything like that, um, I wouldn't know because I'm not in that age bracket, but I can tell you that the sweet almond oil is working for the face. Okay. It's really, really working. And I mean, look at this bottle. It's huge. I mean, this is going to last me all year for like 375, 375. That's it. You guys like no more junk, just, just oils. Um, so the last oil that I want to talk about is no joke. This castor oil, so many benefits so many benefits of castor oil, um, using it for your eyelashes, using it for your eyebrows. It really does work. I can't say like, if I'm going to tell it, I'm going to tell the whole story. So yes, I started out using the ordinary lash growth serum started there, did not finish it. Okay. I started there about a week I was using that on a regular basis. It was kind of irritating my eyeball, like my inner eye. Like it was, my eyes were a little red and it was a little irritating. Um, so stopped it completely, returned it. Got in, finally made my concoction from the doctor here on YouTube. Um, she talks about poop. She holds up a big thing of fat. If you haven't seen her, I would be surprised. But anyway, she had a concoction to make this um, for lash and brow serum. That's the reason why I bought these. I didn't buy these for my face. I bought these to make that concoction. And it took, I even, I didn't even make the concoction. I literally went out and bought the serum, not making this, <laughs> and bought the serum returned the serum, finally made the concoction, started using the concoction, and then started seeing results. Just so you know the whole story. So this little guy, I will put the recipe down below. Um, you use all three oils plus vitamin E. It has to be the 400 milligram vitamin E. And it has to be the soft gels because you're going to break those little bad boys open and squeeze them out into the bottle. So that's half the recipe right there. Um, I thought it was going to make a bigger amount. That's why I got a bigger bottle. Um, but it only makes that much, like literally that much. So started using that concoction. It did irritate my eyeballs a little bit. I will say that. So I stopped using that concoction on my lashes, but I started using the concoction around my eyes area right here. Um, not that I experienced any tightening or anti-aging like that, but I will say that my fine lines have gotten better. I believe it's that vitamin E. 
Um, and then uh, dark circles have diminished. I was thinking about buying concealer again, but not with this little puppy, no sir. So yeah, that's how I've been using the concoction. And like I said, I just started using just the castor oil on my lashes and on my eyebrows. I do use this one on my eyebrows because the eyebrows are taking a little bit longer to see results, but I will say my eyelashes have gotten stronger. They haven't gotten longer just yet, but they have gotten stronger and they're starting to thicken up. So that's the benefits that I've been seeing with the oils. Um, my other thing that I will say about castor oil is they have these, um, I just learned about it, castor oil packs, body packs. So how you're supposed to use that is you either put it in your, in your belly button, um, you use it on your uh, lymph nodes like your neck, under your arms, uh, behind your knees. Um, you can use it all around your abdomen, even around the back. Um, and you, it's a whole process, you guys. I would encourage you guys to look up benefits of castor oil and castor oil packs. Um, you're supposed to sleep with it and it's a whole process. I don't do the whole process, but I will say I have been putting it gradually, working myself up. Um, gradually to more and more and more oil around my belly button and inside my belly button and around like on my abdomen. Um, I have not noticed any negative side effects. So if you decide to do the oil packs or if you decide to grab this and just pour it all over your abs and inside your belly button, do not do that. Um, the warning for that is that if you do the castor oil packs, like if you just don't do it and you don't do your research, you could come down with flu-like symptoms um, and get sick. So, or make your body sick or tox, like your body is releasing all of the toxins um, because that's what those packs are supposed to do. Now, for another warning, <laughs> This is not a magic wand, okay? This is not just, let's put this all over my body and I'm gonna be skinny, all right? You have to be eating correctly, not eating the chips, not eating, drinking the soda, not drinking, not smoking, not doing all of that stuff, not eating out pizza, tacos, all that mess, ice cream, cookies, cakes, everything like that. You literally have to be you know, this is just like a cherry on top, okay? This is for people who are just having that extra little water weight, um, that excess bloating, but they're already on a dietary regimen. So that's what I'm saying. Like I've been using this for the past, mm, I would say week and a half doing the uh, oil belly oiling. Um, and what I have noticed is less bloating, um, a flatter stomach. I don't know if it's like doing anything for my fat there, but I have noticed a flatter stomach, less water rotation, um, uh, and what else? Smoother skin. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had the, the effects of, Putting the oil in my belly button have been minor, but enough for me to notice and for me to keep doing it. So I will keep you guys posted on all of my oil journey. Um, and yeah, that's it. So do what you will with this information. I encourage everyone to start oiling. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.